My name is J.D. Day and I'm the professor and chairman of the Department of Neurosurgery at UAMS. The way that the technique works on the tumors is that we're able to deliver an extremely high dose to the tumor while delivering just a very low dose to the surrounding normal brain tissue. So what's happening is we're, we are shooting basically many low energy beams from all the way around the patient's head. And so many, many different angles, 190 low dose beams. And the way that they're aimed through the what's called the collimator helmet, the beams converge on the target, which we essentially do computer work to tell the machine how to do that, how to get the patient's head at the, at the, where the tumor is at the center of the collimator helmet. So the beams converge, and while they deliver an extremely high dose to the tumor, the surrounding brain tissue gets just a very low dose, which is safe for it, safe for the brain, safe for the nerves coming off the brain, like the optic nerves, the hearing nerve, etc. So that's, that's how it works. Well, certainly one of the biggest benefits to gamma knife radio surgery, as opposed to surgery, is that there's no there's no, you know, quote unquote operation involved. The, there's no general anesthesia. It's much easier on patients. Um, it's really, you know, what you would classically consider a minimally invasive type of procedure because there is no, there's nothing invasive about it. Um, it's, it avoids an open operation, general anesthesia. It's easy on the patient. The recovery time is very quick. Most patients, you know, I, I tell them to take the day off after radio surgery, but in reality, most of them really wouldn't need to. So it's a very quick recovery and return to work, and uh, those, are, those are really some significant benefits of the technique.